Hi, my name is Lauren Fair, and we're here in Cape Canaveral at the Atlas V Vehicle Integration Facility. And as you can see behind us, uh, the Cibber satellite is on top of the rocket and moving out to the launch pad. It's all set to launch tomorrow, January 19th, starting at 7.46 p.m. Um, so I'm here with some Cibber's experts. Uh, Mike and Cameron, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Mike Bush. I'm the Cibber's GEO uh, Chief Engineer for the Cibber's program. And uh, I'm here to support the launch. My name is Cameron Bush, and I'm a program planner on GEO 5 and 6. And I was recently hired in November. Cool. Well, so you may have noticed these two share a last name. Uh, and that's because they're a father and son duo working on Lockheed Martin satellites. Um, so, Mike, what is it like to have your son work on the Lockheed Martin team? Well, I've been here on, on Sivers. I've been here for since 2001. And I'm very proud to have Cameron work on the same satellite that I've been working on for so many years. And so just proud to, to have him work on the same great technology that you see behind us right now. And Cameron, how did you get started with Lockheed Martin? What made you want to join the company? Well, I was first introduced to Lockheed Martin through Young Minds at Work. And that's essentially a take your kids to the work day. Yeah, that's great. So as it's moving, uh, Mike, could you tell us a little bit about what's happening behind us? So right now, um, the vehicle is moving from the VIF here, which is the vehicle integration facility, and it's going out to the pad. Um, it moves very slowly, but it, as it goes out to the pad, we'll, we'll move it out, move it out. It, it'll get out to the pad, and then eventually on January 19th at 7.46 p.m., we will launch the satellite into geosynchronous orbit and um, w w using this Atlas V booster. So. That's great. And Cameron, do you know where on that configuration behind us the satellite is actually placed? Yeah, right below the nose cone there. So right where the logo is for Sivers. And is it a large satellite? About how big is the satellite? Uh, well, dry. It is about 5,000 pounds. And once it's fueled, it'll be about 10,000. Okay, so it's pretty large. And where the Sibir satellite goes is at, to geosynchronous orbit, which is about 22,000 miles above the Earth, which is roughly three and a half, four times across the United States. So as you can see now, we're outside at the very top of the vehicle integration facility and have a little bit of a different view of the rocket moving towards the pad. Um, but this satellite isn't all that makes up the Sibbers constellation. There's a few other satellites. Um, Cameron, can you tell me what's coming after GeoFlight 3? What's in production and what's coming up? Yeah, so Flight 4 is currently done. It's manufactured and getting ready to launch. And we have Geo 5 and 6 in production, which both use a new modernized a2100 uh, satellite bus. So does anything make this particular launch special for you? Well, first of all, it's nice to have my son on the launch with me, which is which is very cool. And then uh, secondly, it's a night launch, which is different than the first two. Geo 1 and 2 were, were day launches, so it's not quite as spectacular. This should be a very spectacular launch. So tell us then a little bit about what we're going to see. What's the setup here with the Atlas V rocket and the Centaur? What does that all look like? Um, so, as, if, as you can see out there, there's a, there's kind of a copper-colored uh, booster, and then above that is a it's it's a white uh, white second section, which is the Centaur, and then on top of that is our satellite. Great. Well, as you can see, the uh, rocket's getting pretty close to the launch pad, so that's probably going to end our time here. But with that being said, I think there's only one last thing to say: Go, Go Sibbers! Sibbers!